Ready to be blown away? These should be your next computer speakers. Dave Taylor here, and in the spirit of vast overkill, let's talk about these. These are awesome. These are the Edifier S880DB Near Field Monitors. They're basically speakers with a built-in amplifier and a million different inputs, and boy, oh boy, are they great computer speakers. So, let's start out, however, with Bluetooth. So, I'm just going to play some Bluetooth music, and I'm going to actually point the speakers towards me, and you'll also get a glimpse of what we'll talk about later, which is a really complicated back on that one speaker. So, we're going to do that. Let's have a listen. It's so good, the audio quality, and this is just Bluetooth streaming off my phone using MP3 quality audio. But let's talk about that for a second. So, these speakers support something called high-res audio. Now, more likely than not, you don't have high-res content because high-res is completely lossless. A really common format for high-res is something called FLAC, or Free Lossless Audio Codec, FLAC. I have a FLAC audio file we'll get to in a little bit. You won't be able to hear much of it because I don't have licensing rights for it, but it is crazy good quality. Here's how the numbers rate. So, an MP3 file, like you'd get from iTunes or something like that, is generally 256 kilobits per second, or KPB, KBPS, right? If you play a CD directly, a CD is about 1400 kbps. But when you get to high-res audio and it's lossless and it's collecting all the music, everything from the original source, that's up to 4600 kbps. And you're thinking, so what does that mean? This is like the difference between 480p and 4K video, right? There's a huge amount of additional data. So that means that the speakers, when you have high-res speakers, they can produce a lot better audio because there's just more there. So you get more richness, you get a fuller sound, you get more crisp and tight highs, you get a nice clean bass line, and you get what they call a sort of spatial sense to it. So so, you know, when I'm listening to these, I can hear individual instruments and I can actually, if I close my eyes, I can pinpoint where the bass player is or where the drums are and even where that cymbal is. It's really quite remarkable. If you've just been listening to, you know, your phone with your earbuds or something, this is a whole nother level of audio. Now, let's talk about these speakers because on the back of this one, this is sort of the primary speaker, you can see there are a lot of inputs. So you have RCA input, you have an AUX input, you have USB, you can use optical, there's Bluetooth 4.1, there's even a coaxial input. Now, it comes with all the wires too, so the AUX I already have plugged into my computer, there's USB, there's optical, which is great if you're hooking it up to a television. These would work amazing as TV monitors. Here's your standard RCA with two plugs on each end. And then this one, this is another USB connector. So there's different ways you can connect things. They really haven't missed a bet here. Now, one thing I also want to say, speaking of wires, is there are just a lot of wires here. This is just a wire-heavy unit, and the wire between the two speakers is fairly long, but it's a substantial wire. There's a lot going through there, but that's also how it gets really crisp audio sound. I kind of wish there was the option for me to have these un disconnected and have it wirelessly working between the two because that would give me a lot more freedom with placing them. But if I'm going to have them right next to my computer like this, then holy cow, this gives me a <laughs> really amazing options and really amazing music at the price of having to deal with all the cables and wires. So it goes. Now, on the back, the other thing to notice is there are some audio adjustments you have here. The top one is treble. The middle one is bass, and then the bottom one is an overall volume control. But you don't really need to use any of them because it comes with this crazy circular remote. Now, the remote is actually pretty fun because it gives you a lot of power. And you have, as you can see in the close-up, there's different sound configurations that are pre-built. So if you want to just listen to classical music, you can go right to that EQ curve. and 
pause, play, next, previous, volume up, volume down, all in the middle part. And then perhaps the most important one is source. So source lets us switch. Now we're on Bluetooth right now, and you can see in this little close-up, there's a little indicator bar on the bottom of the primary speaker. It's pretty subtle, but if I push on source, I can change to my computer. So now let's, and I'm, again, I can only play a couple of seconds of this, but let's jump into, this is Duran Duran, Save a Prayer, and this is FLAC audio, so this is high res. So let's hear how this sounds. Let's see. Uh, let's pause. I was hoping it'd start at the beginning, so let's try that. Here we go. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> it is where it is. And you know what I'm going to tell you is that the audio quality here is so clean that when I first started listening to this with the speakers positioned like this, I actually was suddenly wondering if there was a speaker inside my screen because there's so much spatial sense to this, especially with the speakers like this. They really should be another couple of feet apart, but there's so much spatial sense that the music absolutely sounded like it was coming right out of the middle of my screen, which was quite interesting because this is like, I'm pretty sure it's coming out of these speakers, but I don't hear it out from the sides. I hear it from the middle because there's this whole sound stage going on. Really, really pretty cool. Now, the speakers themselves, and I'll turn this one around so you can see that part of it. The speakers themselves are 192 kilohertz digital audio. Oh, sorry. Inside them is 192 kilohertz digital audio processor. Like I said, there's an amp. That's why it sounds so good. You can give it okay music and it's going to sound really good. And you give it really good music, it's going to sound really amazing. Top part here is a 19 millimeter titanium laminate tweeter. And then the lower part is a four inch metal diaphragm bass. Very nice. It gives you 50 to 20,000 hertz frequency response with greater than 85 decibels of sound to noise ratio. So that means that all the noise that you're getting on the lines is way overcompensated compensated by all the music you get. So you really never hear if you have a silent part in the music, you're not going to hear any hiss or crackle or anything. It's just absolutely silent. In fact, you'll wonder, you know, do these things still on? Hmm. So um, the remote control is great. If you lose your remote, you're really kind of up a creek because the controls in the back are insufficient. And in particular, there's no source button that you can push to step through different sources. So you would then be stuck on whatever source you had. Um, I wish there was a mute button. There's a pause play, but that's not exactly the same thing, though from many input sources, it will um, sort of deliver the same result. Um, speakers are pretty heavy. These are eight pounds per speaker. So if you're gonna hang these on the wall, you might wanna actually build a shelf to put them on because that's a lot of weight. But again, the whole sound quality, the whole experience of having these is pretty phenomenal. I really, really am impressed. These are really nice. I already know Edifier really focuses on making really great speakers. And this is another example of, you know, how well they can deliver that. Now, I will say I have, you know, a couple of little glitches. And the biggest one is, and this is a weird one, is that on the bottom of this unit, it lost one of its feet. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. I looked through the box and everything. I couldn't find it. And so this particular one, it means that, you know, it's not exactly stable. This would be super easy for me to fix if I went to the hardware store or something, or probably if I contacted the company, they would quickly rush me the appropriate foot. But it's a little surprising. The other one is, of course, much more stable. And again, you know, look at the design. I like this design with the beach and the white, but you know, other people might want something a little more discreet. Uh, some people really like having a grill on the front of their speaker. This doesn't have that option. This is just exactly what they look like. This sticker on top, if you're curious, this actually can peel off. I've chosen not to, but if you really want it to be just a nice white, you know, totally fine, you can do that. I just don't know how many computer users have a computer desk setup 
that has this color scheme. Again, whatever, it's probably not a big deal. You're probably gonna be so busy listening to these speakers that you're not gonna give a hoot about what they look like. <laughs> and they look really nice, you know, don't get me wrong. <laughs> really beautiful speakers. Um, the density and complexity factor on the back of the speaker will probably leave you a little bit stymied for a bit, but once you get the hang of it and once you sort of adjust these to where you like, you really never touch it again. My experience is that, you know, once I got the treble and bass to levels that I like, then it's all about the remote and frankly, the remote's preset EQs. So that becomes something where you can just sort of play with different buttons and see what kind of results you get. So all in all, these are fantastic. These are really cool speakers. They're a really good value for the price. When you look at, like, go to Best Buy or something and look at speakers for your computer with separate subwoofers and everything, these sound way better, and they're still in the same ballpark. And what is that ballpark? Well, hold on. Before we get there, I'm going to ask you, click on that subscribe button. But don't just do that. Leave a comment and tell me, when you're working on your computer, how do you listen to music? Do you use speakers, or do you use the speakers built into your computer? or do you use headphones 100% of the time? Because, you know, if you're using speakers, this will up your game big time. However, other people in your office might complain and your neighbors might complain depending on how loud you listen to your music. So that's kind of on you. Now, the price. The Edifier S880DB will cost you $299.99 at Amazon.com. And I would say, if you're looking for really good quality music, this would be amazing in a dorm room or a small apartment also. You know, you can't go wrong with these. These are just terrific speakers. I'm really become a big fan of them. So, this is Dave Taylor. I'm going back to Duran Duran, which means I'll catch you in my next video.